amazing host and host and he's gonna have many more amazing people on his show yeah. and I just hope that you guys grow with him on his journey and you know we never know how big this is gonna get so yeah. let's just see where you take this take this juice to an oh 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 alright kale ki tuka mole ki tuka mole le di pino ke na le ngwa ga tsa tharo ke betsa comedy marapo video la me ke go felo ke batla go tshona le tempo ke batla go tshona khalefo ke swana ka thata ke tindo 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 ya tindo ya tindo Gabs from Party Engage Raw. What a track. Local, homegrown, home brewed, home manufactured. Just how you like it. That's that blue, black and white baby. Do you like it any other way? Oh, no you don't. But yeah, it's Scar and Melo and Bangu and those three gentlemen gave us Don't Hate and uh, you possibly just need to emulate. Yes. <laughs> 7:38 is your time. You're on the Juice 2.0. Gap City beat up. Ask the rest of the world. Good morning and welcome to the Juice 2.0. At this part of the show, I give you this gentleman. My guest this morning is a multi-talented dude, man. His beard gang. Vibes. The ladies still get crazy with that beard, don't they? All the time. And you, like, it never gets old. Yeah? It never gets old. Dog, that's some natural stuff. You never applied nothing for you to grow. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. If you wonder who is on the mic, man, his name is Mix Kasangwa, Zambian born. But dude, you were in boss more than you were in Zambia, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I need you to put your hands together and help me welcome my brother from another mother. Mix Kasangwa is in the building. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, brother? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. In, in Zambia, we say, uh, I'm laka. I'm laka? Yeah, I'm laka. Oh, that's supposed to be laka, but it's, it's laka in, Zip, yeah, in, in Zambia. In Zambia, it's like, you know, laka. But it means <laughs> the same thing as, as, as laka. Of course. I love it. Welcome yeah. back to, to the country, man. Uh, thank you for having me, welcoming me. Like, yeah, yes, sir. It's been a vibe. Like. It's been it's been too long, bro. Uh, too long. I think I think when we started to speak, you were still in Zambia. Yeah. And uh, I was seeing a lot of stuff that you were getting. Wait, what did I see exactly? Do you remember? And then you were like, "Oh, you thought I was still in bots." Uh, I don't know. Like, you were just like, "Yo, you're not in bots," and I was like, "No, no, no, I'm not. In, I've been yeah. in bots for a long time." You haven't been in the country for a minute, but uh, let people know exactly who you are for those that don't know you <laughs> and must know you today. Uh, who is Miss Kasangwa? Yeah, so Mix Kasamwa, the hardest on in LSK, you know, <laughs> representing LSK. Zambia! You know the vibes. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, uh, visual creative, creative yep. artist, yep. Uh, content creator, you know. Just, yeah, just the creative scene. Anything that, like, you know, has a creative scene, I'm yeah. always trying to, like, dabble in that. Show. I did say you're multi-talented. Yeah. How I know you is from our relationship back at church, yeah? Yeah. Uh, you were a dancer, which yeah. is what we're about to start getting into now. You were a dancer, and at some point at our church, you guys competed for some things, yeah? Yeah. And the first time I ever saw you guys dance was at church, and I was blown yeah. away. Yeah. Tell me about that history, man, because you were part of a group. Tell me what that na- the name of the group was. Uh, you were dancing, you were making music, you were doing a lot of things. But take me back to the history of what you used to do back in Bots before you moved to Zambia. Yeah, um, I was in like a... A few groups, uh-huh. you know, like I was like in a group called TNT at some time. Duff. Yeah, I think a lot of people in Botswana know TNT. TNT. Yeah, and then from then I went to like sort of like start sort of like my own academy, my own dance group, right? Called Urban Empire. Right. So yeah, I think that was the most of it. And then, um, yeah, I think after some time, I think I just did my best and I did what I could so now I had to you know uh-huh. the world is big that's all I can say the world is just too big of course yeah. of course I had to like, yeah, do you do, do you miss all those days man <coughs> uh, back in the days you used to dance TNT Urban Empire do you miss all of that yeah I do it's a big part of my life so I'm always like like I even have dreams about some of the things that we used to like experience and, like, oh yeah it's, it's just a part of me that I like, will always be there you know it has also made me the person that i am today so yeah, yeah, yeah. i miss it like a lot actually i like a little, that a little too much sometimes a little too much why don't you just move back bro uh to to be dub to be dub yeah <sighs> come back dude yeah you know i always feel that way sometimes because like i said you know you know how b dub is like 
it just it, it it has this connection, this oh, attachment. Yeah, to yeah, you, you yeah, know? yeah. But I feel like it it was just a little small for me, you know, just small, small in terms of like even just just like demographic and like oh population. yeah, yeah, especially for the creatives as well. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's 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 possible. I think we made things happen when we were here. Definitely, like, you remember definitely. like we were going for like performances and stuff to yeah. SA yeah. And, and we would do a lot of. I feel like it was more active then. I don't know how it is now. I don't see anything. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, um, at yeah. least not on the dance scene. I haven't seen much, right? I'd, I'd have to be corrected if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen much happening. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons you need to come back. But tell me about Zambia. What have you been getting up to Zam- in Zambia? The last thing I saw was uh, some association with the, with the big... Um, what was that? What was that? You guys were doing advertisement for a, for a, for a shop, yeah? Uh, yeah, I think we're debonairs. Oh yeah, shucks. Yeah, right. Yeah. How's that? How's that coming up? What is happening in Zambia? What can you tell us about the creatives in Zambia and the scene in general? Yeah, uh, the scene's also like growing and evolving. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it's 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 been very like fruitful for me. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a culture shock at first because like I was in like. A country with a population of like 20 million. It's so a like, lot of people. Yeah, a, country, a lot of people. Yeah. So like so much, like so too many opportunities. Didn't even know where to start. Oh, for know? real? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Even up to today, like like you can see, cause like I just uh, we became a brand ambassadors for Debonairs like literally three months ago. So I even know like this year, like That's it's just beautiful. a lot of stuff that will be rolling in. So yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's really good to have you back in the country, and uh, you're definitely not around for a long time. Right? What's yeah. that Drake thing? I'm here for uh, a long time, you know. I. <laughs> but so I was, I was talking to some of my dudes just last night. Um, I was telling them, "Yo, I'm gonna be chilling with Mix, right?" And then somebody was like, "Yo, Mix, Mix is in the country." I was like, "Yeah, bro, you know, Mix is like, yeah, I know him from Urban Empire, blah blah blah." And then there's a name that came up, a name of a hun. That you used to mess yeah. up with. <laughs> <laughs> Name of a hand that you used to mess up with. In in, in in Zambia, like in a situation like this, like in Lusaka, we say it's buki. It's buki. Yeah, it's buki. It's buki. Yeah. Yeah. So ish a hand, ish, which which hand is this? Which one is this one? <laughs> who, do you, who did you used to mess up with before you left? I never used to mess up. I bro, like, come yeah. on, stop lying, bro. Okay, I had like a phase, you know, we mm-hmm. all have that phase. But there's that one name though. Yeah, what, what's what's the? No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta tell us who you used to mess up with. I don't know. Like it was so long ago. It was a know. lot of people too. Uh, I wouldn't say like a lot, like a lot, lot, yeah. but yeah, like a few people. You know, <laughs> just, like, you just know the artist <laughs> lifestyle. You know the rock star lifestyle, stage lifestyle ish. Oh yeah, yeah, you know. What's the craziest that ever happened in that lifestyle for you? That included a girl. Um. Uh oh. Also, ladies and gentlemen, his girlfriend is in the building, so yeah, don't so worry if he's going to start. <laughs> start. Yeah, but I've told her like all of these stories, you know. Like, oh, have we you? Shared, we shared all these extreme stories. Uh, hi, good morning. What's your name? Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's it's yeah. There you go. Sorry about that. Um, Introduce my, yourself, please. Okay, my name is Lester. Lester, mm. you've been dating this gentleman for how long? Uh, one year, four months. One year, four months. Yeah. It's amazing. Is he being truthful when he says he's told you everything? I'd like to think everything, but I don't think you can talk about every single thing you've oh, yeah. experienced in your life. Oh, yeah. What's the craziest B dub story that he ever told you that included a girl? Mm. Hey! It's silly, I said. <laughs> Ish. Ish. Which one was it? Ish. To choose. Which one was it? Ish. I don't even know. Guys, don't do this to me. No, you know. I Lester. Just, I just, I just forget know. him, yeah. Yeah, I just know he used to tell me, like, yo, like, I remember we started getting famous, like, things were happening, like, you know, all the chicks wanted me, and I'm like, I don't think you're that hard, you know. So, yeah. um, yeah, but he just told me, like, yo, me and my boys, we used to wild out, like, yeah. all the time, every weekend, so it was right. like, so then, when you come back, when you come to, is this your first time in B Dub? Yeah, I've never been here. Oh, before. what kind of boss? What kind of boss? Uh, thank you. So when you come back to boss, uh, where these many stories used to happen, do you do you get worried a little bit? He's gonna bump into one of his one of his past baddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to be honest, I don't know if it's weird how our relationship is. He's he's yeah. he's, he's he's my best friend, so 
He knows all my ex stories. He Dope. knows all the stuff I used to do. Yeah. I I don't know if I know everything. Yeah. From yeah. what he told me, it seems to be a lot. But yeah, I was low key like excited to see how things are in BW. He told me so much. Yeah. I think maybe we just came at a time where there isn't much happening. Of course. Many people. It's January too. Yeah. 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 So um yeah, but I've I've enjoyed myself so far. Thank you very much for, 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 for telling us all of that, man. It's what, you got something? Yeah, I, I, I'm just wondering what are the challenges that you come across as a couple, uh, specifically you dating somebody a creative. like him. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're, <laughs> you're mixed. Do you think you, you, you... How's your relationship because you're creative? How, is, it, is it hard? Is it easy as I a creative? Think, and then she'll, she'll answer that question. I think it's definitely not the easiest yeah. situation to be in or doesn't really like accommodate a relationship right. easily. But right. like with a lot of communication, like oh, yeah. like a lot of communication about every single thing, like from groupies <laughs> to like female <laughs> friends. Yeah, to, like, yeah. Yeah. So I've been like in situations where like even just like my work environment, like you know, I think I was working with Sky Girls in um, in Z- in Zambia. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, it's Sky Girls. So there was like a lot of females yeah. that I had to work with and yeah. stuff. In situations where you know, certain females wouldn't notice that maybe they are crossing the boundary. Of course, maybe as a girl, she would notice. And then we started. Oh, they they notice quicker than we ever do. Yeah. Quicker. That's right what she was there. telling me. At first, I thought she was just messing around. I was like, nah. She's like, no. Like I'm telling you, like this person. You know. I'm like, nah. Yeah. Female so, instincts. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. It's your it's your turn. I'm sorry. What was your question? The challenges that you face dating, uh, dating a, a creative. Um, I'll admit it was a lot harder in the beginning. Uh, when we just started dating and people didn't know we were dating yeah. so it would be crazy like where we're, we're in the club you know we're chilling we're vibing you know like it's yeah. the beginning of the relationship everything is you know spicy Yeah. and then this girl just came up she like walked past me she low-key like pushed me went up to him I started dancing on him and I'm Whoa. like and I'm like excuse me sorry please but like you know, also, like, if I'm, like, really dramatic, it'll also be a problem because with the internet... Oh, yeah, 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 Things will be like, oh, no, this, this, this. They can twist stories. Yeah. Right. And, like, it's better to not have scandals and stuff. So, um, and also, you know, like, in the beginning, you don't really know, like, guys are like, yeah, I'm loyal. Like, I'm not why. But you never know. So, I was <laughs> like, hey, sh- let's see. Let's see what you're about. Yo, Mix, have you ever cheated on this girl, bro? Never. <laughs> never. Like, she knows, like, up to today. Have you ever caught anything? No. Well, that's, oh, you guys got PR for real. I'll admit. <laughs> but then again, it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, like, the thing is, we've had this conversation. I've told her about situations that would yeah. lead me, like, that would tempt me to cheat. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Long distance is right, one of right. those. I've experimented oh. with long distance. I told her, she was like, what would you do if I had to, like, move and go stay somewhere for, like, right. three, four years? I was like, yo, I don't know, six months for me. Yeah. In my industry, it would yeah. be, like, too much if let's say she just started like maybe she changed or she like started taking me for granted or disrespecting me it would put Especially me in situations yeah, yeah yeah situations that would enable me i like your story yeah i like your story guys you guys some even when i see it uh your stories you've been posting a lot yeah. uh since you since you landed you've been posting a lot you guys look cute you're at the mall you're smoochy mm-hmm. you're kissing you're <laughs> oh, no, uh, uh. <laughs> Get a room now, you know what I mean. <laughs> but it's all cute, it's beautiful. I'm I'm pretty much the same anyway. Yeah. But mix, however beautiful your life looks on the internet, however beautiful your life must be, yeah. you've actually come out and said, "Look, man, it's not all beautiful. It's not all rosy. Yeah. I actually get depressed here and there because of this and that." Tell me about that, man, because you actually seem to have a whole movement and a whole voice behind depression, especially for men. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, in Zambia right now, we're going through a phase where uh, it's all about, like, you know, pretending that, like, everything's fine, showing people your wins. Yeah, it's not just in Zambia, my man. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Yeah, Yeah. everywhere. Yeah, so I feel like maybe other places have sort of become a bit more self-conscious and aware towards, like, you know, you can speak about it. Right, right. But, um... In, in, in like my community and with like my, my fans and demographic, yeah, this was sort of like the first time, you know, oh, like yeah. somebody sort of like came spoke out about and it. spoke about it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just basically noticing that a lot of my friends, family are going, have been going through like depression or like anxiety. Yeah. And also like 
understanding that it's something that I've also dealt with, like, you know, especially like primarily yeah. like anxiety, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um yeah, just taking time to just sort of like connect with like it just my fans. Just started off with like my fans saying, Hey guys, um, you know, I understand that like even you are going through something, you know. And I could sometimes feel the energy and and see like some of my fans like that I follow back. They would have like content on their Instagram pages, and then suddenly they've deleted all their content. Oh, shucks! Like black, yeah, DP, or put like depressing stories and right, right, right. like, and then it started becoming a thing where a lot of people are doing it. So ah. I just like, you're pretty big in Zambia. Do people know this? You're super big, bro. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know. I think I'm I'm growing. Like I grew really fast, but I yeah. feel like there's still like a lot. What do you of think? What do you think? Uh, really attracts the love what do you think it is about you that has made you grow as quickly as you have and in the shortest of all time um i think just developing a relationship with my audience yeah like connecting with like as many of my fans as possible because i came from like botswana where it was difficult to grow a fan base oh yeah and yeah, even yeah. the community that i grew in like my dance yeah. environment yeah you had to have a relationship like right. with all the students i had and right. everyone we were performing with yeah so i had to develop that culture here yeah because you have to huddle up as many people as you can oh yeah so when i went there i was able to do that now with like a lot of people so it's sort of like we have a relationship with like or like most of my followers, they feel like they That's know beautiful. me. That's beautiful. They can beautiful. connect with me rather than it's just about me. Like yo, watch my content, share my content. Just it's all about. They can me. relate. They yeah, can they relate. Can relate. Lester, yeah. what do you think it is about that people love about your man? Um, to be honest, I feel it's because of how authentic he is. Oh yeah. Most people on the internet want to show that they are perfect, especially like. A man being vulnerable on the internet saying, yo, I'm going through this. Uh, this is hurting me. Right. So people are like, yo, we haven't experienced this. And I don't know how it is in other places, but in Zambia, yo. Yeah, yeah. A man has no feelings. That's crazy. So now for, I'm like, I'm sure like other men are looking around like, yo, I'm feeling this way. It's okay for yeah, me to feel this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that that's why people resonate to it. Yeah. So, so for, for conversations like that, that are super deep, right? Mm. Especially conversations around depression is there a conversation that happens prior to him going out between you guys and you as a lady, you feel, ah, this is a real man. Because I say this to say, there's a misconception that says if a man opens up, he's weak, mm. right? About his feelings, mm. he's weak. But is there a conversation that you guys both have? And then for you, how does it make you feel when he opens up? I like it. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, first of all, when we had just started dating, yeah. I, I could tell that he was different because he would tell me, oh, this hurts me. I don't like it when you do this. This ah, uh, this, this affects me. Like, right, so I'm right, like, right. ah, okay, you know, communication. Yeah, he did say communication. Yeah. Because you know, yeah. other guys would just start like, no, you always do this while I'm acting <laughs> up. Like, but you didn't like, communicate. Exactly. Like, yeah. how am I supposed to know? Right. Um, and then, like, I feel like he's he's had his platform even before me. Of course, of course. So... I feel like he knows what he's doing. Are you guys partners? Are you guys partners? Because I see you in his videos. Yeah. A lot. Are you guys partners in your creativity? Yeah. Or uh, it's just one of those, nah, I gotta be there. It's gonna be groupies there. I gotta, I gotta be there. <laughs> no, like, we're actually, like, creative partners. Like, we actually uh, started our relationship off of, like, us just, like, working creatively. Oh, so. what does she do specifically? Is there is there a specific? Yeah, we've worked on, like, music, and she's also acted in some of, like, the short film content that oh, I did for YouTube. Yeah. 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 Just practically, she's also part of like a movement that we started called Lusaka Culture. What is that about? Uh, Lusaka Culture is just basically a group of like uh, young creatives in Lusaka just coming together like yeah. musicians, yeah. fashion designers, yeah. actors, actresses, right. etc. So yeah, so we, we sort of like met in that uh, movement and then we've been like working because like we are both the brand ambassadors for the oh yeah so that's yeah. beautiful guys i love it for you i love it for you and i need to see so much more beauty around that since you're back in the country how long are you back in the country for uh i'm actually leaving on tuesday today oh yeah. man uh, today's saturday so i'm leaving i think like like she said we came like at a bad time yeah yeah but I also just came mainly like to like visit and yeah. stuff like that and sort of just like vacation yeah. a bit and like Tell it. me about your boys, the ones that you possibly have missed for a minute and you've met and what have you guys been getting up to? 
Yeah, uh, I met uh, Flex. Flex the Ninja. Was, you know, the GOAT. Big shout out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that boy like, is goated, man. For yeah. real. First person I met and then met like Omar, who was also in Urban Empire towards like, Dope. the end of Urban Empire. Yeah. Uh, a couple of friends from like um, high school as well. Oh, yeah. yeah and then yeah. I also met like some friends from like primary as primary. well. Primary. Yeah, that was Dude, where did you go to primary again? Uh, I schooled in Muchudi at, Muchudi. at Rasarura. Uh-huh. Yeah, and Muchudi, then your high school, yeah. you were at? Uh, high school, I was at Oriel International, and uh-huh. then I went to St. Joseph's St. College. St. Joseph's. Yeah. Dude, you grew up here, man. Yeah. Did you pick up a little bit of Setswana while you were here, or it never it never caught up? It's it's there, like, for, like, you know, emergency. Like, if there's, like, <laughs> a, a gun to my head, and I have to It's going to come out. <laughs> it's going to come out fluently. You know? My brother, we don't have, we didn't have enough time for, for a conversation that we needed to have and talk about everything. Yeah. But I'm just really glad that I got to see you, and you got to come and uh, speak about what's happening in Zambia. Yeah. And uh, reminisce a little bit about you know a few things that happened while you were while you were here. Yeah. But for your last words, what would you like to say to the person that's watching, to the person that's listening? Yeah, I think what I'd say is you know um, we're going through like a, a period or like we're a generation that's dealing with like you know a lot of comparison. That's you know, right. Online. That's right. So be careful on social media not to compare yourself with like too many people and like yeah. just try focus on like your own pace yeah, yeah. your own life that's right and, yeah i like avoid i would encourage a lot of people to avoid like being on social media too. Yeah, yeah you know you got detox a little bit yeah. you know five weeks two weeks three weeks yeah. a day detox or, a lot actually yeah, so, yeah yeah i appreciate you my brother One time. so pleased to have seen you and Thank chat you for with you me. And I wish you nothing but the best in your creativity, in your relationship, your family, and everything else. Yeah. Uh, Godspeed until you and I get to see each other one more time. Yeah, no stress. Keep up, keep it up with the podcast as well. Like, we're watching that side in Zambia. In Zambia? Like, yeah. Like, I actually, first time I came across, like, you again since we met was, yeah. like, through, like, this podcast and, like, Bro. just seeing it on YouTube and on Instagram. Bro. So, we're looking at, you know, Botswana's next b- breakfast club. You know what I mean? Yay. Yeah. Hey, hey, yo, Charlemagne. Hey, yo, Envy. Ah, it's over. <laughs> watch out, watch, watch out. out. <laughs> My brother, I love you, man. Godspeed. Yeah. Until next time. No stress. Thank you. Bye. Miss Kasangwa on the Juice 2.0. Zambia in the building. And big shout out going out to everybody that's got love for the Juice 2.0 uh, in Zambia. Big shout out going out to you that's got a lot mad love for Mix Kasama in Zambia. I appreciate you guys so much. And for B-Dub too, that's a whole lot of black, white, blue, yellow, red. All right, I might mess it up. Eight, top of the hour. We're stepping into the last minute, last hour of the Juice 2.0. And more amazing things are lined up for you. Kedi Mulosiwa, a.k.a. Lizotti. A.K.A. Lee Zozo. I try to do it the way she does, but yeah, we'll try to get her to do her thing. All right? Stay tuned. What's going on, YouTube? My name is TK of The Juice 2.0. I'm just here to say thank you very much for checking our video and click subscribe, like, and the notification button for more content just like that.